Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for having me feature. Thank you to Ali and Thro for for having me. I'm looking forward to uh, after the second uh, bout, I suppose. Uh, my band's gonna perform as well. So, but right now I'm just gonna do some poetry for you. Ass cheeks spread, reflection of pussy off mirror. I'm the only one here that can hear her. And I fear for my life right now, only visible queer to step foot in this town. They all mistake me for an 18 year old boy and I'm not about to correct them. Cause if one figures it out and kicks my ass, the rest will only respect them. Makeup is caked over a scar on her face. Maybe from the night she forgot her mace or she wasn't wearing the right kind of lace for her paid date. And I'm not gawking at her body. I'm looking into her eyes. Because what she's doing right now is all muscle memory and lies. I see a cocaine haze of pain that remains from the day she was taught to disconnect from her God-given flesh and forget about the meaning of respect. I see a long life of loss that cost cash for ass. And I just want to whisper sweet lies into her ear and run loving hands over every square inch of her flesh. So for a second, she can forget about the hell on earth to which she's been sent. So for a second, she can forget about all the shots to the face, unwanted ass slaps and backs of cabs, all the fucks that felt like stabs to her identity, to her energy. But I won't try to take her home, show her love, make her come, because then I would be her and she would be the man sitting next to me. A circle of distraction for temporary satisfaction. And some people don't get it because they've never been in it. They've never taken the time to listen. They've never given themselves permission to look into the eyes of a stranger and try to understand their decision. That's one I uh, competed with at CFSW in 2009. Uh, this piece uh, comes from a story from when I was a young teenager that I just haven't been, been able to get out of my mind, so I figured I had to do something with it, so I turned it into a poem. It has to do with uh, the long Saskatchewan winters. I close my eyes and pretend I'm cold because I just relieved myself from the heat with a dip in the lake, goosebumps in the breeze. How many folks have we lost to the cold? Not from it penetrating our bones, but our souls. I ask myself this question ever since December of 2003 when I was just too tired to catch the bus to school that day. Man waves gun in front of passengers on bus early this morning before taking his own life in front of them. 15 years old, brave enough for a Slurpee in the cold, I walked to the store the same route I would have that morning. I stopped at the edge of the gravel-filled puddle a snow-stained grave for the man who just wasn't brave enough to bear the fuss of hoarfrost brush. Snow queendom of steam and clouds that lock in too crisp of air to breathe. They tried to soak it up, but the edge of the alley refused to wash him away. And the blood refused to rot or decay, so every day I could slide over his remains in my snow boots. The everyday reminder, the reminder of every day, the memories I wouldn't have if that had been me. 
The chimney squeaks in my ghetto sound like crickets, and the snow crunching under my feet like a big cat's purr when its belly is beside your ear. Cheers, cheers. Santé de la langue, santé. Santé! So this piece, I don't know why I do it. I really don't. It's terrible. <coughs> but I'm going to do it anyway because it. something's making me do it. <laughs> it's very hard to fit in a set list, in a poetry set list. It sticks out like a sore thumb, so just I apologize for that in advance. Yeah. How do you wipe your ass? <laughs> Wipe, toss, wipe. Wipe, fold, wipe. Stand, wipe, disconnect from roll, toss. I mean, why don't we talk about this shit? Sometimes you gotta talk about the things you're not supposed to talk about. Otherwise, it's like holding in your gas. Eventually, it's gonna pass or it creates this giant internal bowel moan that ends up louder than if you just let the original stuff go. <laughs> or you try to let it out real slow and it bubbles up your crotch or tickles your balls and you laugh and end up looking like an idiot after all. I mean, why do we pretend to be so fucking perfect? You see that woman walking down the street, heels clicking on her feet, just the kind of woman that big tooth money-making man wants to meet. And I say she's overcompensating with perfection because she has a yeast infection. Or maybe she caught chlamydia from her lay last week when she didn't use protection. Or maybe she's just got lettuce in her tooth. Point being, nobody's perfect, so why pretend? Why do we feel that our lives will end if somebody finds out that you blew your load in a hot tub jet when you were 10, or you're actually a lesbian, or that your husband likes to poke his prostate with your favorite ballpoint pen? I mean, fuck it! Who gives a shit? I understand. Some of you don't want to hear this. But that's because you're the ones with the filthier secrets. Or maybe you just have class. And you're not fucked up enough to walk up here and ask a room of people how they wipe their ass. Terrible. That's not even a poem. That's just crap. <laughs> <laughs>